Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you an AI automation workflow I built in any time. And here's the exciting part. It's made entirely with free tools. This workflow writes a script, generates images, creates a voiceover and stitches everything into a complete video, all automatically. And I didn't use OpenAI's paid API. Instead, I used uh, Open Router with a free model, Stability AI's free tire for image generation and 11 Labs free, free plan for voice. That means anyone, even beginners and known coders can build this exact setup without paying anything. Uh, I'll also explain every single node, their headers, body, code and everything. So you not only see it working, but also understand how to build it yourself. And to make it accessible, I'm going to share this uh, workflows template. That way beginners and non coders don't have to build it from scratch. Uh, they can focus on understanding the process and then reuse this workflow for their own learning or projects. So let's start, shall we? Watching are already familiar with any ten and similar tools, but if you're completely new, no worries. I'll quickly show you how to create a workflow. Just click on this plus icon on the left. You will see three options here. Uh, select workflow and a new workflow will open. Now, where do you get all these nodes? Again, uh, okay, I'll just drag it here. Again, click on this plus icon on the right side. Uh, this opens the nodes panel. So here you can search for any node you want. For example, if you need uh, the HTTP request node, so just type it and select it. Okay. So once you select it, it will appear on this uh, workflow panel. Now that's it. I won't go too deep right now because we are focusing on this specific workflow, but anything is very user friendly. So feel free to explore the interface yourself. Now uh, coming to this uh, first node, the start node, this is the workflow trigger. Uh, in any time, every workflow starts with the start node. So when I click execute workflow in the any uh, interface, everything begins from here. Now coming to the second node, this is HTTP request node. As the name suggests, uh, generate script plus captions plus hashtags. So I'll just open it up to show you the configuration. Yeah, so, uh, okay. So notice here in the HTTP request node, I have selected post. So that's because we are sending data to the API. Our script prompts, our model settings and everything, which I'm going to show you in the below configuration. There are actually two most common methods that we use more often. Uh, first is this post and second is get. This one. Yeah. So get is uh, only for retrieving info without a request body. But as soon as you're submitting something for the server to process, like generating text, images or audio, you use post. You can always check the provider's documents. Uh, if their example curl says post, you select post here. Now, alright, just close it up. Okay, so one small thing I want to clarify this uh, about this URL. So when I use this URL, that's the um, that's the official or open router endpoint for chat completions. I know this because in their documentation they show examples using exactly this URL uh, with post method. And why post, as I've already um, said, because we are sending data like prompts, messages, model name inside the body of the request that I'm going to show you. And that is only for asking um, for asking or fetching note, not for sending prompt data. So if you follow the docs and use post at this URL, everything works smoothly. Now coming to the headers and body. Now let's first just check the headers only. Okay. So we have enabled headers and body because this is mandatory. Now this in the header, we have two, these two fields, authorization and content type. Here in this authorize, authorization, you have to add your open router key. I copied this key from my open router dashboard. Uh, coming to the second field, this is content type. So here in the value, I have added application or JSON because I'm sending JSON. Okay. Now I have enabled this body as well. Now let me just show you the body that I have added. Here you can see the model that I have added. This is the model that I have added and this is the system content and the user content. So in the system content, I have just said that you are a script writer for short AI agent tool explainer videos. So the system content is nothing but you have to just tell your model okay, what exactly it is. And in the user content, you tell the model that what exactly you need to perform, what exactly you need to do. So here, as you can see, I have, mentioned, I have added generate a 10 scene script, scene 1 uh, to scene 10. For each scene, include a line starting with visuals that clarify describes that uh, that clearly describes what should be shown in the scene. After the ten scenes, also provide one caption, one set of hashtags, one narration text for voiceover, and the topic is AI agent tools and automation. So this is what I've added in the body. 
let me just yeah so uh, okay i have got this structure directly from open open router's documentation uh, the prompts you have to give on your own obviously but the structure i have directly taken it from open router so the prompts you have seen uh, the system prompt and the user prompt you have to give on your own let's say you wanted to give not uh, you don't want the images regarding ai automation and tools you wanted something else let's say you wanted some cooking related images so you have to give your own user and system prompt here so uh, whenever you are working with apis always copy the headers and body format from the provider's example that's how you know you are using the correct fields now let's just close it close this um, node and let's go to the third node okay this is the code node and what exactly this node is doing this is extracting visual prompts now let me just click on it so that i'll show you the code here so this is the code okay the open router response is big as you can see on your left uh, panel this is the output that is coming from the previous node the http request node so the open router response is big uh, it has captions hashtags narration and visuals but i only want the parts after visuals so after this word visuals okay for each scene so this javascript node uh, safely grabs the text response normalizes line breaks uses a regex to find every visuals block uh, output uh, outputs them one by one like scene one then prompt then description here as it, i'll show you the table as well so this is scene one this is prompt and this is description in the prompt so till scene 10 uh, yeah so till scene 10 i have uh, generated so this way each scene's prompt is ready for uh, for the image generator don't worry if you don't uh, code this snippet is already written for you in the template so yeah that's pretty much about this node now going to the next node this is split in batches loop over scenes so this node loops over the scenes instead of sending all prompts at once it processes them one by one that keeps things organized and avoids hitting api limits so that's why i've used this particular node okay this is just a you know placeholder so leave it it's not mandatory i'm not going to explain it to you it's just a placeholder let's just go to code 2 this is nothing but prompt sanitizer so before sending prompts to stability ai i clean them uh, the code replaces double quotes with single quotes and removes extra new lines why because uh, json breaks easily if you send bad characters so this guarantees stability ai always receives clean text so this is the purpose of this node so it it will also only give clean text to stability ai which is our next node now let's just close it and let's go to our next http request node which is nothing but a stability ai text to image now for visuals each scene from goes to stability ai's api this is the configuration as you can see here this is the url that you can find on your on the stability ai documentation these are the headers as i've said these are some of the mandatory headers that is being utilized in almost every tool this authorization and content type you have to give your own uh, you know um, stability ai api key your stability ai key and this is content content type which is nothing but application or json because uh, you know we are passing json here let me just open this body okay so this is the body text prompt cfg scale width height samples so uh, okay this field is uh, coming as green okay uh, let's say you don't want you don't have to type it this particular thing you can just simply drag this and drop it here i'm not doing it because i have already done that so whatever fields that are coming from the input if you want those fields in the in this part in your next code the next node expression you have to simply drag and drop it okay now let me just cancel it out okay okay all right so i found these fields in stability's ai documentation cfg scale controls how to closely uh, you know how closely the image follows the text width or height set resolution and samples uh, is number of images so the result will be high quality scene images generated completely free so this, that's what this body is that's why i have used all these fields because already these fields are already uh, you know present in the stability ai documentation just go through it and you will know why i have used it here okay let me just go to the next part let me show you the images as well yeah first let me just show you the images that are generated this is the first one this is the second one 
as per the uh, you know scene and prompt yeah this is a hard one so till 10 we have like we have 10 images here five six this is cool and so we see seven and this is our last one 10 these are the images that get generated as per the you know prompts that we have provided to stability AI now coming to this merge plus code 3 plus code 4 okay these three nodes uh, is doing nothing but organizing images okay these nodes act like project managers we can say that so this merge node uh, keeps prompts and images paired together so from here the prompts are coming from stability AI the images are coming so it is uh, doing nothing but it is merging it together so keeping prompts and images paired together now this code 3 I'll open it up it is I'm, I'll just give you a short and crisp explanation so it is adding an index so each image is numbered in sequence okay now Code 4, this code 4 is uh, filtering out anything that is in the valid image. Okay, so this ensures file names will be image 1.png, image 2.png, etc. So, perfect for this is perfect for video assembly. So, these three nodes are nothing but our project managers. We can say that now coming to uh, read or write uh, file, save images. This particular node is not doing nothing but saving the images. So, this node saves each generated PNG into temp with the sequential names ffmpg relies on this numbering so it's critical okay now okay now let's just go to code file this is extracting the narration and i'll just quickly show you the code first yeah why i said that this is extracting narration so what it is doing is uh, from the original script this code collects narration lines it strips out markdown uh, it, strip, it strips out markdown narration this narration asterisk asterisk whatever it is so it, it will strip it down removes formatting and combines everything into a clean text string that string will be our voiceover so this node is particularly doing that it is just extracting the narration now coming to this okay this is a, a wait for five seconds okay what it is doing it, it, it's just a short delay just to make sure narration text is ready before moving to text to speech so that's why i've added this node now coming to this uh, 11 labs tts http request node this node converts text into voice okay the url you can find it on 11 labs uh, documentation these are the headers and the body is below so you have to give your api key your 11 labs api key this is the url as i mentioned or uh, headers the api key Content type is application or JSON. Now coming to the body. Let me just open it up. Yeah, this is the body. So let me, okay, let me just. Okay, this is body. So this uh, particular field is doing nothing but it is like a text or clean narration text is coming here. As you can see here in the result, uh, it's giving a clean narration text like in a world that's always running on overdrive. Um, yeah so on so uh yeah this is the model that i'm using model id and voice settings and uh, similarity boost so again i got these fields directly from the 11 large docs uh, the result is a natural sounding mp3 voiceover free on their uh, starter plan you can obviously you are going to use it to just uh, add your api key go to the 11 labs uh, um, link and then uh, in the documentation okay in the developer section you will find the api key just to let you know now coming to this read or write file this is saving the voiceover okay this writes the audio to temp voiceover dot mp3 now we have both ingredients images and narration this is the narration okay i'll just in a world that's always running on overdrive you, There's always more to be done than time allows. Maybe you're turn on little, little, but let what if help I'll show just... you at the end. I, I, I'm already going to show you the, uh, you know, merged video. So it's fine. 
okay this is execute command node this is nothing but ffmpg assembly time for editing this node runs an ffmpg command to combine everything and here's the command this is the command so um, i do i have to explain it okay let me just give you a quick uh, walk through this frame rate 1 by 6 is not doing nothing but it's saying each image stays on screen for 6 seconds so 10 images approximately 60 seconds and this temp images person dot png reads images in numbered order uh, this temp voiceover uh, voiceover dot mp3 adds the narration okay and this um, you know library 264 format uv uh, u420p this encodes video in h.264 compatible everywhere and uh, the last one uh, this c a a c b a 192k this particular command is encoding audio in AAC at 192kbps. So, and shortest, this particular command is saying stops video. This uh, particular command is doing that it, it will stop the video when audio ends. So, that's why I've added this command. Uh, now, FFMPG is like a command line video editor. Uh, the documentation explains every flag and once you learn the basics, you can tweak length, frame rate or quality easily. Okay. So yeah, now coming to the last node, our last node, this is read or write file, save final video. Okay, and finally, uh, the completed video is saved as final video.mp4, ready to download or upload. Okay, so you can view it, you can download it, it's up to you. I, I will show you the video, let me just show it. Okay, now let's have a look at the final generated video. Okay, let me just turn it off. In a world that's always yeah. running on overdrive, there's always more to be done than time allows. But what if help was just a click away? Meet your new digital assistant, AI Agent. Sick of endless emails? Let AI Agent help you manage them. With AI Agent's email automation feature, you can focus on what truly matters. Got a meeting or task coming up? Set a reminder with AI Agent. AI Agent keeps you organized so you can manage your day with ease. AI Agent helps you optimize your workflow, making you more productive than ever. Let AI Agent handle tomorrow's challenges so you can enjoy a well-deserved rest. Wake up to a more efficient tomorrow with AI Agent. Sign up today and let your workflow thrive. Wake up work smart AI Agent digital future. So let's just go back. Okay, so okay, so um, I want to highlight something important. I didn't use uh, OpenAI's paid API. I used uh, Open Router with a free model, so you can try this at zero cost. I think I've already mentioned it in the very beginning of the video. All tools here have free tiers, so Stability AI, Eleven Labs, and of course anything. And FFMPG is free. Overall, it is free. So I designed this for non-coders, even though there are small JavaScript nodes, you don't need to write them uh, yourself. They're already in the template. So I'm actually sharing the template so you can uh, run it yourself without rebuilding from scratch. Uh, this makes AI automation accessible to beginners, right? Uh, no coding skills, no money required. So yeah, that's the workflow. Uh, we have just built an end-to-end -end video generator, script, images, voice, and editing, all automated and all free. If you found this helpful, give it a like so more learners can see it. Subscribe if you want more free AI automation tutorials and check the description. I have left the template link so you can um, start experimenting right away. You can also follow me on Instagram, Soul Coded AI for behind the scenes tips and extra content. Um, I have mentioned the link of my Instagram channel, Instagram mom, you know, account as well in the description. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.